Hello everyone, my name is Luke from the Earth's Loot Gaming community, and welcome to my tutorial on how to set up port forwarding for your Rust server. Unfortunately, there's way too many routers for me to go over and tell you how to do them for each different one, but I can give you a general idea. So here's how to do it for my router. Hopefully by watching this video, you'll be able to figure out how to do it for yours. First, go ahead and open your control panel. Then, look for Network and Internet, and click on View Network Status and Tasks. Here you'll see how you're connected to the internet from this computer. Choose the first connection you see and click the link here. Your internet status will pop up with some information displayed. Go ahead and click Details under Signal Quality. This window will have a lot of information. We need the IPv4 default gateway. In this case, mine is 192.168.0.1. That's common for a lot of people, so go ahead and write that down or remember it. The other IP address you'll need is your internal IP, also known as the local IP address. That one is the IPv4 address, not the default gateway. I've blurred mine out because that is sensitive information, but go ahead and copy yours down for later use. Close the windows. Open up your internet browser. In this case, I'm using Google Chrome. In your address bar at the top, type in that number, 192.168.0.1, or whatever your number said. Press Enter. You should now be prompted with a login screen. This is your router. If you do not know the username and password of the router, you need to obtain this from your ISP. Sometimes the router has a sticker on the side of it that tells you exactly how to log in. Once you're logged in, you'll see lots of different options and tabs. Just navigate through all of those until you see something referencing to port forwarding. Go ahead and create or add a port forwarding reference. For description, you can name this whatever you want to help you identify it. In this case, I'm just going to call it Rust. For inbound port, you want to do 28015. That's Rust's default reference. There's a 2 here because you want to give it a range of 28016. That will allow you to use the console remotely. Change the format to both. If you have local port boxes to type in, just do the same thing you did for inbound port. Your private IP address is very important. Remember that second IP I had you look up? Not the default gateway, but the other one? Go ahead and type that in here. Again, I had to blur mine out for privacy issues, but you get the idea. Go ahead and create or add that server. You may lose internet connection while this is happening for a brief moment. Great, go ahead and close this because we're done. Now test it out by starting up your server and navigating through Steam, View, Servers, and adding your server to the list. To add your server, you want to use that second IP we gathered, the one I had to blur out, followed by colon 28015. You have to include the port. Add the server to favorites. Look, there's the server. It's running, and I'm able to see it on the server list. Open up Rust and go to your favorited servers list to see if it's there. There it is. Try to connect to it. Looks like it's connecting to the server. We might have just done it. Awesome! It worked. But does it work for other people? Let's find out. I've asked my friend Goose to attempt to connect to the server to see if it works. It looks like he was able to connect. Great, we've done it. 